Yo, this is Eternal Place, Pokemon Black 2. So, we are nearing our end of this Let's Play of Pokemon Black 2. But before we end, we are going to challenge the Pokemon League one more time because now they have become a lot more powerful. Their Pokemon count has gone from 4 to 6 each. Their Pokemon levels is now up to level 70 plus if you're playing normal mode. Even higher if you're playing challenge. And it's going to be quite tough. So, all of the four elite trainers will be doing an in episode each. And then it will do Iris in the last episode. And that will conclude my let's play of Pokemon Black 2. This will be the setup I'll be using. I'll be using Arcanine for fire damage. Also has Crunch. Manazon for electric and steel. Superior for grass. Simpore for water and ice. Unpheasant for... Normal and flying. And Terrakin will be my rock and fighting type. So, now I'll be having all the types covered up. But I feel like this, this uh, setup here should do fine. Because they have some powerhouses. We have some real ones that can advantage of weaknesses. This should do well. Alright, let's go inside. So again, we have the four Elite Four members here. We have Chantal here. We have Grimsley here. Caitlyn here. And finally, we have Marshall. So, Chantal, Grimsley, Caitlyn, and Marshall. For this first episode, we're going to go with Chantal, the Ghost-type Elite Four member. So now she has two additional Pokémon from the ones we had before. And her lineup will be a Pokémon about level 72 to 74. So let's go inside meet with Elite Four Chantal as we're gonna complete our Let's Play of Pokemon Black 2 by fighting five powerful trainers in a row. So here we have Chantal, she's here waiting for us. When you're ready, just approach her and be ready for the first of the four Elite Four member battles. Round two! The woman who uses ghost types and the woman who uses ground types. I couldn't ask the reason why the names and appearances are so similar. That's part of a novel I wrote. I absolutely love writing about the close bonds between the trainers and the Pokemon that I competed against. Could I use you and your Pokemon as subject? We will see because here we go round two versus Chantal, elite four member of the ghost types. And as I said, she now has six Pokemon up from four. And the first one, that will be Kofagrigus. So Kofagrigus is the Pokemon she had before. She has that one in the old lineup. She will always have Kofagrigus with us. So Kofagrigus, Ghost type only. But he is very tanky. And he also has the money ability. Which means he will replace the ability of the opponent by mummy. Which basically will do nothing. That always happens when you deal damage to it. Alright, so even though it's a ghost type, you can deal good damage with Crunch. Be careful because Kofragus is known for being annoying. Plus, it is very tanky. It has quite high defense and can sustain a lot of damage. And that's why it always has a... Usually has a setup of moves that is all about being annoying. Alright, let's start first with a Crunch. Crunch to take out the weakness it has for dark types. That's ghosts, uh, one of those weaknesses. It's effective, and here comes the mummy. That means the flash fire ability from Arcanine is now gone. Confragus will now use Shadow Ball in return. Shadow Ball, a very powerful special attack ghost move, which still pretty decent damage. It's important to make a good first impression on your opponent. Of course it is, because then you know more about how powerful they can be. Alright, so that was a good uh, first one for us. Let's continue doing this. Crunch again. If we're lucky, Crunch can also reduce the defense of our opponent. And that will make it easy for us to KO in case the Elite Four trainer will use a heal. Another Shadow Ball comes in. And Arcanine is now built at half health. I know that um, she will be using a heal now, so I'll be basically doing the same. Let's just use a Hyper Potion on Arcanine. Because I'm very certain that um, Shonto will also be using a uh, potion as well on Tukofagrigus. As exactly as I predicted. Full Restore. 
That means Kofragos is back to full health, and this battle is basically been reset, sort of. Well, that doesn't matter for us. We can continue with this. Let's just do another crunch. And hopefully now we'll have the defense drop soon, because that's a chance the crunch can reduce defense. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Half now. Shadow Ball from Kofragos onto Arcanine. Shadow Balls has a chance to reduce special defense, so both both can deal more damage if their uh, stat is reduced. Let's do another crunch onto Fagrigus. Will be enough. Oh, it will be enough! We managed to get enough damage exactly as we needed, and Kofagrigus goes down. That's the first of six Pokemon down for Shantal. Who will be next? That one will be Golurk. So Golurk is also another Pokemon that she has been using before. Not a new one. So Golurk is a dual type ground and ghost. Has some really powerful physical abilities, so remember, we need to be careful about this. Um, you can do different ones of how you want to fight this one. Uh, doesn't really matter what. We can go with the superior or semi poor here. It doesn't really matter. I'll probably go with sim superior first. Let's bring in superior to take on the Golurk. Golurk also has the ability Iron Fist, which means uh, I think that means its uh, punch abilities will deal more damage. Comes Golurk, Ghost, and Ground. This also means that uh, he's actually weak to Ground, despite being a Ground type Pokémon. But it also means he's immune to Electric, and being weak to other moves, for example, like Grass and Water. Let's first start off this one with a. Uh, actually, let's let's see how much time we can do with Leaf Storm. Let's use Leaf Storm here. This is going to be a very powerful move, doing a lot of damage to Golurk. Will it be enough to kill it though? It will be enough! Wow! A critical hit Leaf Storm, that's fantastic! Special attack will go down by two levels, so that means we probably need to switch out Superior or we have to rely on physical damage to deal good amount of damage with Superior. Superior though, really good there. One hit KO on that Golurk. The next Pokemon to fight will be Frostlass. Now, this is one of uh, Sean Paul's two new Pokemon. Frostlass is the evolved form of Snorunt, which you can evolve uh, instead of evolving into Glali. Snorunt is from Generation 3, but Frostlass came in Generation number 4. So Frostlass is dual type Ice and Ghost. This means that its weaknesses it has to fighting will be nullified because of its uh, Ghost type. But it still has some um, weird weaknesses. It has a weakness to Rock, Ghost, Steel, Fire and Dark. So Frostlass also has a good special attack, so it doesn't really matter which one we can use here. Um, we have multiple ones we can use. We can use um, Magnezone, we can also use Arcanine here. We can even go with Tarakin, but I will not do that because she knows it knows Psychic, so it can be dangerous. Let's see, um, versus the Arcanine, or will I be using the Magnezone? I'll be using the Magnezone, because Magnezone is also resistant to Ice and Ghost. So that'll be good for Magnezone, it'll resist a lot of the damage it can deal to us. So let's get in Magnezone versus Chantal's Frostlass. Alright, so versus Frostlass, let's go right away with the Flash Cannon. Frostlass is faster, we use Psychic. It'll deal a uh, little, little damage to Mind Zone because Mind Zone is resistant to Psychic, plus that Frostlass doesn't have a Psychic type, which means it doesn't uh, do as much damage as a Psychic type would do. Flash Cannon will be super effective. How much damage will it do? Oh, it's a one hit KO on Frostlass! Very impressive by Mind Zone. Frostlass goes down. Well played! Half the team is gone, but there's still three more Pokemon to fight. Which will be next? Next one will be Chandler, that's her ultimate Pokémon, the strongest easily, and as I said before, this is sort of a glass cannon Pokémon. This is a Pokémon that relies so heavily on dealing damage before it's taken out by, its, by itself, basically. So, this one knows a lot of super powerful moves, so we need to be careful here. Uh, Magnezone can be used here, but this is dangerous because it, it's a fire type, and fire type is great against steel. Superior is, of course, not going to be good. Simipore could be used, but it knows Energy Ball as well. That can be a counter to it. Tarakian, no. I mean, it has some really good moves against all of my types here. That's why I'm going to be choosing Arcanine. 
Because it had 8 Arcanine, it can of course take some Shadow Ball damage, but I think it should be fine. Plus it knows Crunch, so that should deal some good damage against the Chandler. Also beware, Chandler has a Citrus Berry on it, so it can heal for 30 damage if, as long as it goes below 50% health, not getting KO'd. Let's go with Crunch. We get the first hit on Chandler. How much damage will it do with the Crunch? It's down to two thirds. It's going to drop his defense as well. That's great. And here comes the Citrus Berry, recovering 30 health for Chandler. Now, will Chandler be able to do some damage to us now? Here comes the Shadow Ball, which I expected him to do. This will be a step bonus. It will deal a lot of damage. But will it be enough? No, it will not. Arcanine will survive. It gets a special defense drop, though, but that's fine. Because we are faster than the Chandler. And with a defense drop, that means this Chandler should go down with a crunch. And it will. So Chandler goes down. We're down to two Pokemon left for Chantal. Who will be next? It's gonna be Miss Magus, another Pokemon that is new to the lineup of Chantal. Now, if you play in challenge mode, you will actually not be facing Miss Magus at all, you'll actually be facing Gengar. The Gengar in challenge mode, and Miss Magus in easy and normal mode for the round two. So, Miss Magus is similar to Cofagrigus, it's a pure ghost type. It knows levitate, so it's immune to ground. So, I could probably stick with Arcanine here, but no, I don't want to do that. Arcanine has already gotten this special defense drop, so I don't want to use it. Uh, hard to say which one we can use. Tarakian is probably good here, but the problem is that Tarakian fighting moves cannot hit against ghosts. The only thing it can damage with is Stone Edge. And also no Psychic, so I don't want to use Tarakian. Um... Let's go with... No, Unpleasant is not good because it knows Power Jam. That's good against flying. Yeah, and actually, let's just go back to Magnet Zone again. Because Magnet Zone is resistant to most, if not all, of uh, Miss Magus' moves. But also be careful, Miss Magus knows Perish Song. Perish Song is a move that means that if the Pokemon is KO'd, the opponent will get KO'd as well. It's basically, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me scenario. We'll first go with, um, well, it doesn't really matter. Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, let's go with Thunderbolt then. Miss Magus will use Shadow Ball onto the Magnezone. Damage is going to be light because Magnezone is resistant to Ghost. It comes to Thunderbolt, be used on Miss Magus. Damage is pretty decent. It's actually a bit more than half, so one more Thunderbolt should do it. Miss Magus will use a Perish Strong. This is expect exactly what I expected. This means that. Uh, Minus zone will be KO'd in three turns. Or, well, if it didn't survive them. So that means actually, that was not, this wasn't Perishong I was thinking about. I was thinking about um, something else. Uh, Destiny Bond, I think it was. Yeah, Destiny Bond, I think the move was that you KO if you KO the opponent. But with Perishong. All Pokémon on the field will be KO'd in three turns, unless they are switched out. Okay, so that means next one is going to be Drifblim. This one we've seen before. Drifblim is uh, Ghost and Flying. This is great for us, because we have Pokémon that can take care of that. Let's get in Tarakian. Actually, no, uh, let's not get Tarakian. Let's get in Simipore. Tarakian can be used, but again, a lot of, pretty much all of her Pokémon can use Psychic. Psychic is dangerous for a Pokemon like Tarakian, because he's weak to Psychic. Drifblim is the final Pokemon from Chantal. It's the final chapter, here's my last Pokemon! Yeah, so Drifblim, dual type Ghost and Flying. It has quite a lot of health, but not the greatest defenses, so it still should be easy to take care of. Let's go with Ice Beam, on to the Drifblim. It will end. See, the health bar drops very slow because Dripplim has a lot of health. It's super effective though. Oh, it's frozen! That's lucky! That's so damn lucky! I really want the happy ending this time. I hate endings that leave a bitter taste. Well, now you have a horrible ending because we just froze Dripplim. Talk about luck! That's a real luck. That's, it's about 10% chance I think you can freeze your opponent with Ice Beam. Great luck. Let's see if we can finish Drifblim now with another Ice Beam. Here it comes. Ice Beam lands. And Drifblim will go down. Wow! That's a lucky hit right there from Simipore. And that means we have beaten 
the first of four Elite Four members in their round two matchup. Wow, I'm stunned! For all the words, and now I can't figure out how to say this, putting my feelings in the word would just be a trap. What I'll say is, I feel you're even greater than I thought. Yeah, that probably is a good uh, way to say it. All the Pokemon on both sides battle so bravely. Even though they got hurt. Thank you. Thank you as well, Chantal. That was an interesting battle, but we did manage to win. Uh, no chaos, actually. That's pretty great. That means we can continue without having to use any revives. But we have to heal, though. So, next episode, guys, we're going to face off against one of the th remaining three members of the Elite Four. And then we're going to move on, trainer by trainer, until Aries is our opponent again. And we'll be her. Our let's play of Pokemon Black 2 comes to an end. But don't fret, though, guys, because we have a lot more Pokemon games to play, including some newer ones, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and that's going to be it for now. I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Black 2 continues. <laughs>